Let me tell you how I came to Gardner Webb University. Uh, I had a friend, his name is Mike Graytop, who came over to my house and after I had just came from those school and things didn't work out quite um, like I thought was going to work out there and it got some bad news and didn't know what school I was going to go to um, in the fall and it was just about to be fall. It turned out that my friend said, hey look, I'm going to Gardner Webb University, why don't you just come there, I'm in an apartment, you can kind of hang out there, who knows, you may get a scholarship, I don't know. So. Um, so I said, okay. So I packed my stuff literally in the car, told my mom, she said, what? You know, we both scratched our heads because we never heard of the place. And I met this coach Parker and he was a South Carolina scout for, you know, um, for Gardner Webb. And he knew who I was because of my, um, you know, and high school records and stuff like that. And, and I told him the story about what happened. He said, well, look, let me see what I can do to get your scholarship here. And, you know, we'll go from there. And, you know, I agreed and he got it. and. Well, um, you know, I really didn't know if Gardner Webb at that time was, you know, the, the school for me. I mean, I really had reservations, strong reservations. And I, it was to a point where I called my mom and said, hey, listen, you need to come get me because I'm really not, I don't think this is something I want to do. Um, so she takes the trip up three hours to come to Gardner Webb to, to pick me up. And Coach Parker comes in my dorm and says, hey, listen, you know what, Shady Lewis? Let's give it one season. One season, I understand where you are, I really do. Um, I think we got a good program. Actually, I know we have a good program. We got good athletes, we're heading in the right direction. And I know we're heading in the direction of where you want to go. Um, just give me one shot. I mean, my mom came in after I agreed to Coach Parker that I would stay. So mom said, you ready to go? I said, well, you know, Coach Parker came in and I told her story and all that stuff. She didn't hiss, she didn't do anything which is awesome, that's just the care to my mom. She just kind of said, you know, I feel good about it too. If this is something you want to do, you know, I'll support it. And, um, you know, it was just a great experience there. And, and it was really awesome to play as a freshman and, and get that experience in college football. And, and then after that first loss, it was just one of those setbacks that, you know, I don't know what I mean, you know, you lose the first game. And I was in Houston high school, not losing many at all. And, uh, you know, we won and then we won, you know, 10, 11 straight after that, well, 10 straight. And then uh, we played for the NAIA National Championship here at Gardner-Webb. And what was really good about that experience was is that the school really got behind Gardner-Webb. Um, that, that was the piece of it I was missing. I felt the football part, I felt it from the coaches, I felt it from my teammates. And I started to see it from the school when the winds were going back to back to back to back. You saw the spirit of the school be lifted and it was just the fanfare and the excitement. You know, it was really what kept me here. It really, uh, you know, kind of let me know, hey, look, this is the place where I belong because after that, things, other things had happened in my life that really made me know that this was the place to be here. And uh, my football career really helped me develop into the person I really am today. I just remember one day I was coming up in, in the summer from uh, practice and it was just as humid as it is today and as I was walking up the uh, um, walkway here from, um, from the field uh, from practicing, I noticed a young lady that was talking to another young man um, sitting over at a swing that's over, over here. So something in my brain decided that she was really wanting me to come over there. So I immediately got in, walked over in mid-sentence while they were talking, didn't say excuse me or anything like that, wasn't polite in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> and said to her, I noticed you looking at me when I was walking up there. I tell you what, I'm going in here to eat, and when I come back, if you're still here, I'll let you take me out. And I stepped in between the guy and her while I was talking directly to her, and I said those words, and I removed myself from their conversation, and turned around and went into the, to the lunchroom. I took my time, ate my food, you know, came back out, and she was, lo and behold, still on the swing. I said, so have you made a good decision? And she says, well, you know, um, I decided that, you know, I would, you know, go out with you. Um, she said, uh, how about tomorrow morning? I said, yeah, fine, whatever, as long as you're paying, I don't care. You know, um, and we had a little chat about where I was from, a little bit more information and all that. And I told her, you know, okay, you're gonna pick me up because I don't have a car up here. And, and you know, just make sure you're on time. That's all I ask, because if you're not on time, I'm not coming out. She said, okay. 
you know, I go back and I brag to the guys in the dorm saying, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we laughed it up and, and, um, and I told them the story. And then uh, she came the next morning to pick me up. She was on time. And then we're going, you know, like we're going towards Shelby here. Um, and I'm like, where, where are we going? I mean, and I'm getting kind of, because I don't see anything around. So we make a left turn on this road. And then we made an immediate right turn. And then we get there and we park. I said, where are we at? I thought we were going to get something to eat. She said, I never told you I was going to pay for anything for you to eat. You said that. I didn't. And it was a sign that says, James Love School. And I said, what is James Love School? She said, well, this is where I go to church. So she took me to church on our first day out. And you know, it really changed my life there because that became a church that I went to um, um, after that. It was just a feeling I had when I got there and they were really accepting and it was uh, just a, I, I don't know, I had a hometown church, but I never felt like I felt inclusive, like I can come as myself and I could be as myself really. And these people were really genuinely honest and, um, and really good people and I really got a good spirit there and I really rededicated my life to Christ there and a lot of things I was doing that was worldly really started to slowly change when I came to that and um, it was just really neat to see a young lady that that you know that young to have the foresight like she had and to have a lot of maturity about herself to really know that I was really in trouble and I didn't even know it and now that young lady who did all those things is now my wife so um, it really changed my life. I ended up you know, becoming a deacon at that church and really doing a lot of neat things and really giving back to the community. It really kind of helped me be who I am right now today and helped me with a lot of character issues that I had. Um, Gardner Webb and, and their faculty here re really mean a lot to me. Didn't really mean that much to me when I first got here. I thought they were just more in the way and um, just in my way of what I was trying to do. I wanted to do my own thing. It was all about me. And my GPA was very low my first year um, to a point where uh, I was borderline on academic probation and didn't really even understand what that was. And then it took you know, a professor um, by the name of um, Dr. Bottom really kind of taking a real interest in um, the gifts I had and the things I could do and not focus so much on the things I wasn't good at and really kind of putting a real application of in life and I think that's what's really good about Gardner Webb is that the professor like uh, Dr. Bottoms really made it where it was a how to use this in the world how real application how am I going to use this how to think through problems not just answer questions on a test and it was really cool because that's the same thing I you know, did on the field. But I never understood how to do that in, in, in school. And coming to college and coming to a university the size of Gardner-Webb um, was really what I feel like God really wanted me to have um, without me knowing it, which is awesome. And today in my work and the things I do with my job today, that thinking process continues. The mindset and the way I think through problems continue. And that foundation came from Gardner Webb University. Gardner Webb University Annual Fund allows the university to continue preparing students by providing scholarship funding and resources to develop and enhance the programs available. I can truly say that Gardner Webb University continues to have an impact on my life, and I want to give back to the students who are taking their own journey at Gardner Webb University. I hope you will look at how important Gardner Webb University has been in making you who you are today and join me in ensuring every student has the best possible experience at Gardner-Webb University because collectively we can all make a difference.